Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Act 7.1.6. It's the final quest of Act 7.1, and it's been a journey. Uh, I've actually had a lot of fun in 7.1. There's been some frustrating moments, usually because of like lag and uh, some bugs in the game. But overall, I really enjoyed 7.1. All right, so I'm gonna show you the path that I chose. I don't know if this is the easiest path. What I suggest is that you take a look at all of the paths and determine which one looks the easiest that has something you want to deal with. All right, now this first fight is against Ebony Maw. Wasp is a great option for Ebony Maw. All right, uh, you want to keep his focus broken and you can do that by uh, hitting him with a heavy attack. And with Wasp, if you know Wasp, she can combo into a heavy attack. So you don't have to try to get the opening. You don't have to try to counter his heavy or anything like that. You just go in and do your combo right in there. Now, the nodes on this path are the clapback node Basically, if you put, I think it's shock, uh, bleed, incinerate, poison, uh, if you put any of those debuffs on your opponent, it's going to get applied to you as well. So some options would be those that can deal poison, bleed, shock, but are immune. So they would actually apply it and it wouldn't be applied back onto them. All right. Now, I was worried a little bit about uh, fighting Ebony Maw with Wasp because when she evades, she puts a shock and she's not shock immune. So I was a little concerned, but we were able to get him down without too much difficulty. All right, so next up is Mr. Sinister. Uh, now, I mentioned the uh, clapback node. Uh, there's another node also. Uh, you can see the Eat Crow and there's also Buffet. I hate Buffet, but it's that reason that I brought uh, Captain America Infinity War into this fight. Mr. Sinister, he will regen, okay? Uh, anytime you crit, he'll he'll regen. And then you have Buffet every time you uh, fire off a uh, buff or anything like that, they heal. So if you go in here with someone that gains a lot of buffs, you're gonna be healing Mr. Sinister a lot. And it's gonna be awful. But Captain America Infinity War with the proper folks on the team will apply a Petrify when he parries. And that's what you saw me doing there. All right, now I want to, I'm not making any excuses, but I want to explain that I have been playing for quite a while now, all right? Uh, and, and by that, I mean, even though I've put out the videos, you know, separately, one a day, uh, I actually did this run all at once. And so this is the final quest, but I've been playing all day. And so I'm tired. And you can see that because I start making little silly mistakes, getting hit. Um, the game also is a little bit laggy. Uh, for me so that combined with you know just battle fatigue basically uh, but I wanted to get it done all right and so I'm um, pushing forward of course uh, now I run suicides so I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage to myself every time I'm firing off specials but I love suicides I don't like taking them off and you see that's the second time I got hit stunned I'm just tired, folks, tired. Uh, but I already know that running with suicides means you're going to use more resources. And you're going to see one of the drawbacks to running suicides, especially if you're going to be firing off specials. Uh, because if you get too low, then your own suicide, um, the poison, pretty much, will take you out. All right? And you see here... I'm able to evade it, uh, but sometimes it just clipped me. 
and I was getting frustrated too, you know, and I was thinking, you know what, I'm not restarting this path. We're just gonna push forward. All right, so there are other counters for Mr. Sinister. Um, Warlock, for example, is a great counter for the buffet path. So definitely do that. Uh, you'll notice that I have Ghost on the team. That's usually who I bring in questing. But Ghost would not have done well against Ebony Maw or Mr. Sinister. So those first two fights had Ghost counters. But I still brought her because I had other people to counter those first two fights. And oh, I hate when they just start dashing back like that. It's something that the AI will sometimes do against Ghost. Um, but they do it against others too, but it's really annoying with Ghost because uh, in order to do the Ghost play style that she is famous for, you need them to be kind of aggressive, all right? Now, Ghost doesn't have any way to stop her uh, regen you know, from the buffet, as you can see there, but she can out-damage it, and that's what we're going to try to do here. Now, I didn't pop a boost or anything like that, and that would have made this path so easy. You know, um, I could have boosted up a tech boost 200%, and Ghost is insane, okay? I would have just been doing almost back-to-back -back special twos, and we would have been able to get this down, all right? Um, but that's why this took a little bit longer because of the buffet. And I wasn't, you know, I didn't bring someone that could really counter that buffet, at least into this fight. Uh, Captain America Infinity War can counter buffet. Uh, I'm trying to remember why I didn't bring him in for this fight. I know he's low health, and that might be why. But I can promise you, uh, as I'm fighting here, and I'm looking at all this regen, I'm like... Oh, am I going to even be able to do this? Okay, so you can see here, uh, we, you know, are getting her down slowly, but surely, you know. Um, but it's just really annoying. Uh, she's procking those power gains. And so this fight is definitely not uh, going the way that I would like. And then I did that, which I'm like, okay, she didn't punish it, though. But, yeah, that didn't go out well. And look, she's almost healed up back to full so really annoying so uh what i started doing i needed more damage now i don't normally do a lot of heavy attacks to build up uh any kind of um furies but that's what i really needed to do here um i needed to build up the furies i could have done that and then um, go in and do a lot more damage than I'm doing here. And the fight would have been over uh, much sooner. All right. But we're just, we're going through. You see those big crits? It's because we have those furies up. All right. And so I'm like, okay, we're, we're, we're getting it. We're getting it here. You know? And, uh, ooh, that power drain was annoying. Um, but I hate long fights. I really do. And... This, you know, every time I saw that regen, I was getting a little frustrated. And that's what happens. You get frustrated and you just start messing up. And I'm just like, okay, come on. We got to do this, all right? Um, I, I fired off the special two there. But you'll notice that right as I fired the special two was when I got a poison put on me. And that meant that I was taking that poison damage for the entire special two. Bad luck, bad RNG or something more sinister. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we're still just trying to get her down. You know, look, look how long this fight is taking. I have two Furies up there. So what I started doing, because uh, I would wait for, you know, there to be a, you know, debuff on me, a poison like that. And then when I um, dash back to, to convert it to a Fury, that's when I would go in and try to do you know as much damage as I could. All right, so we're we're getting her down slowly. Um, in the beginning of the the fight, I wasn't playing it very well, but I learned, and towards the end, I started um, doing a bit better, timing it so that 
it was right after I got the poison on me that I could dash back and then do some damage rather than firing my special two off, getting the poison and taking all that damage while the special two was active. All right, so we got him down. Uh, that was a long fight. Uh, there are better, better ways to handle that fight. Uh, as you can see, ghosts uh, can do it just fine. Um, but not the best, especially for Buffet. Um, she can out-damage it, but it does result in uh, longer fights if you don't um, play it, you know, too well there. So you'll see I, I put Ghost away for a little bit, and I'm going in here with Captain America Infinity War. One of the things that he can do also, if you're not familiar, uh, that Petrify, um, unlike Void's Petrify, his Petrifies are, I believe, 25%. I can't remember, but I think they're 25% each. So you want to have at least uh, three or four, uh, if I remember correctly, on them uh, so that they can, you know, reverse the healing. All right. Now, I whiff there. I don't know why, uh, but uh, that's why you'll, uh, you'll often see me trying to parry, you know, maybe a couple of times. Uh, before I actually go in all right, so we've getting the petrify so that they're not healing from that buffet Now I don't have maxed out despair. I used to do that But because I started using Nick Fury a lot. I maxed out deep wounds instead But I used to always max out despair and what despair would do is For every debuff on them it reduces their healing and so we would have shut down uh, that buffet. But the other way, uh, you just bring in a champion that can heal block. You know, Warlock can heal block, for example. Um, or they can reverse the healing like Void or Captain America Infinity War with the right uh, teammates. All right, so we got him down. Uh, it wasn't the prettiest of fights, but we got him down. All right, so... Next up is Dr. Doom. I do not like fighting Dr. Doom, but I have fought him quite often. He's very tanky. All right. Um, I, I didn't mention anything about the Eat Crow uh, buff because, honestly, it didn't really come into play a whole lot. Um, but with Captain America Infinity War, uh, you'll notice that that poison wasn't hurting him. Okay, uh, and that's because of that node. All right, so we're going in here. You saw that I healed up a little bit. Uh, the poison tried to apply. It doesn't help with the poison from the liquid courage, uh, suicide mastery, which is why you see that poison there. But remember, like when we were fighting with Ghost, you're getting a periodic poison placed on you. But thanks to the node... Every time it fails to apply, which it will because of the node, you get that fury. And that's what you see up there. And that's why he's hitting um, even harder than he normally does. All right. So just something to bear in mind. That's all science champions uh, that will benefit from that, if I remember correctly. All right. So um, I, I don't use Captain America Infinity War a lot. He is a beast. He is awesome. Uh, I just don't get a chance to use them a lot and when i see this buffet uh and i and i if i remember correctly i didn't bring warlock because he was stuck in war uh i believe war was going on uh when i finished this up um either that or war was about to start and i didn't want to uh lock him into this quest uh because i wanted to finish this quest up uh pretty much straight all right but Warlock would definitely have been good uh, for this path. All right, and you see I'm doing, I'm trying to get, when I, when I was fighting him, I forgot that Doom has very, very high crit resistance. So one of the things that we like about Captain America Infinity War's damage is that special two, when it crits, it hurts real bad. But against Doom, you're not gonna get that. Okay, 
So if you're wondering why I'm what I'm doing there, I'm just trying to parry to get a lot of the um, petrifies up before I actually go in. Um, and I'm right here. I'm just baiting out a special one. And I know a lot of people um, have a problem with his uh, special one evading it. Um, I've gotten used to it. Uh, and you see here, I've learned. Okay. So I've got a couple of Furies up here. I've got my other Fury and I'm firing special threes off for a couple of reasons. One, I'm already low in health. I'm at 13% health here. And two, with his high crit resistance, my special twos weren't packing the punch that I expect them to, you know? Um, so yeah, what you see me doing here, I'm just trying to bait out that special one. You know, sometimes I'm evading a little too slow as you see there and it ends up in a parry. Uh, on, on nodes like that stunning reflection, doing that is fatal. All right, so uh, we've got him uh, pretty pretty far down here. I'm at 7%, he's at 10, now he's at 9%, all right? And I want you guys to see what happens here. All right, so I'm down to 5%, he's down to 5%. We're neck and neck, now I'm at 4%. All right, but I'm like, okay, I, I got this guy, I got this guy, okay? So look at this, but he's just so tanky. Now I'm down to 2%, he's at 3%. I'm just like, okay, come on. I've got a couple of Furies and I die. That and suicides took me out. He didn't actually take me out, okay? And I was so upset. I was like, I had it, I had it. Uh, now I could have played that much, much better. Um, I shouldn't have been firing those special twos off like I was. Uh, I should have just gone ahead and cycled special threes. We would have been able to get that fight down uh, without any difficulty. But again, I'm fatigued a little bit. All right, so now we've got Archangel. If you are fighting Archangel and you are running suicides, you have to be very, very careful. And the reason is just one hit from him while you have the bleed and poison up, he'll convert it to a neuro, all right? So I went in with Omega Red because Omega Red is poison immune. So because he's poison immune, Archangel cannot get a neuro uh, on him, no neurotoxins. So I'm like, all right. But the other issue is that at this point in time, Omega Red is bugged. He's not doing the damage he should. So uh, we are actually fighting at a severe disadvantage. Uh, if he was fighting at his full strength, oh man, this fight would go much better. All right. Now this is the six star. Something I didn't mention in this one, but I've mentioned in previous uh, videos. Uh, one of the global nodes gives six stars a permanent fury. That's why you see that fury up there. Uh, that's why I brought in this Omega Red, not the five star Omega Red, uh, just for that extra, um, you know, attack. But I probably should have uh, brought in my five star uh, rank five SIG 200, but it is what it is. Uh, live and learn. But if you can get the uh, spores on him, he's not gonna be uh, getting a lot of regen, okay? And you can see I'm taking a lot of block damage. It's crazy, all right? So I'm trying to keep these spores on him uh, so that uh, I can keep that buffet from healing him up, all right? Uh, and you can see here, I'm just trying to keep that, that up, but because he's bugged, I am not going to be able to do as much damage with him uh he's been fixed now and he would do this fight so much better all right so we are just basically trying to keep that on him all right and you see there the uh, spores are dropping off a little bit and i'm just trying to keep those up i'm not playing omega red uh to his best here all right uh i wanted at this point in time to get an, as many spores on him as I could, but he wasn't really cooperating. Uh, so that when I fired my special three off, that's why I was holding it, uh, I would heal up more. 
you heal based on the number of spores uh, that are on your opponent when you fire the special three. But he didn't have a lot on him at the time. Uh, so I didn't heal up a lot. But as you can see, the fight is going, you know, it's slow and I hate long fights. And what happens usually is I'll do something like that. When I get tired and the fight has gone on for too long, I start making those kinds of mistakes. Okay. Um, it happens and I'm looking up there and I'm like, oh boy, he's starting to heal. And that was it. I, I didn't want to fight anymore. I basically said the fight is going on for too long. I'm done. Okay. So I'm bringing in Ghost. And my thought, of course, you know, even though the other fight was pretty long, that we might be able to get uh, this fight uh, over a little bit uh, faster than uh, that fight uh, we had earlier. All right. So once again, we're just trying to um, out damage uh, that regen. But I'm going to try to play it better having learned the other uh from the other fight okay so you can see here um i'm just doing like these five hit combos uh just trying to you know get him back because i didn't want to get trapped in the corner all right and then uh let's see what am i doing here yeah he one thing that you you have to be careful about with the ai the ai will time their attack so that your phase will end in the middle of their attack. So that means if you want to let it miss like that, you have to be ready because it will hit you. You can't just stay phased, all right? And so uh, we're doing our thing here. Uh, we, we were going to be able to out damage it. I was pretty sure we were going to be able to out damage that buffet. Um, he's down to about half. All right, and you see like right there how he uh, dashed back, no decks, but just really early. The AI does that. All right, so I'm trying to be careful and you see I'm taking a lot of blocked hits. Uh, that's because I'm tired. And if you're playing Ghost properly, you don't really take a lot of blocked hits, like all of this right here. But I'm also trying to avoid triggering decks because that gives the buff and then the buffet will heal so i'm trying to do you know a, a little bit differently here um ghost doesn't normally uh you don't normally play ghost like that all right so um we're getting them down though slowly but surely all right and in a minute i'm going to do something that will show you how tired i am all right, so he's playing well. He's, he's you know, um, being aggressive. And uh, I'm just, like, getting really impatient at this point. You know, I'm, I'm tired. I want this thing to be over. The fights are taking too long. I'm going to really hate the Abyss. I I'm going to tell you guys that right now. Uh, I know y'all tease me about it because I haven't gone in there, and I have everybody that I need to go in there. But that's why I don't want to go in there. It's, it's just long, boring fights. Um, but I'm gonna do it. So here's where I make a mistake. All right. So, um, I pushed him to a special three phased. Now with the hood synergy, you're not going to take any damage while you are phased. You can see my health bar is not going down, but I forgot something. That stun. He stuns on the special three. Down goes ghost. There's no way I was going to survive that really ridiculously long stun. All right. Forgot about it. Uh, so that was a mistake on my part. Call it battle fatigue. Uh, I completely forgot because I was like, yeah, I'll just push him to a special three and just tank it. And then, oh, that's right. He stuns. So I, I left Ghost a little bit. Uh, let her rest a little bit here. And I went in here with uh, the hood. Now, the idea with hood is that special two uh, will put that fate seal so they can't get a buff. But as you saw there, 
it didn't work out that way. And that's why I quit out that fight. I'm like, no, we're about to heal this guy all the way back up. No way. Not going to happen. All right. The fight's already taking too long. So go in here with Wasp. And you, you can tell that I'm really tired. Okay. I just want these fights over and done. I'm ready to complete this Act 7.1. And like I said earlier, I had a lot of fun in Act 7.1, but every once in a while, just look at that. I was just fatigued, tired, you know, just messing up. Um, and I'm just like, okay, now that everybody is, is uh, you know, hurting here, let's go ahead and use a revive and get this guy down. Okay, he's been alive long enough. All right, so uh, if you are going to be going in here, I would recommend someone who can heal block. Uh, Void uh, would work very well. Science champion. And he has something for that buffet. So if you have Void, I recommend him for this path. Otherwise, Captain America Infinity War can work with the right uh, teammate. Um, but you do not want to go in here uh, with someone uh, that cannot block that heal. Unless you just like long fights and you don't mind um, out damaging uh, that, that buffet. All right. But that was the last fight on that path. All right, now this is something that I like that they did. Uh, just before the boss, you can swap out a champion and any non-knocked out champion is eligible. All right, so let's take a look at the nodes that we're gonna be dealing with. Backblast, Staggering Beauty, and Special Chaos Inversion. So that Backblast, uh, your critical damage is doubled, but if the damage from a crit exceeds 5% of the defender's max health, or if you land more than four guaranteed crits, you get an incinerate that's going to do the damage of your last crit over five seconds. Uh, you also have that staggering beauty. You're going to get staggers if you're close. If you go away, far enough away, they'll drop off. And then special chaos inversion. I hate it with a passion. Your controls are reversed, but only for your special attacks. Only during the special attack, not yours, but the boss's special attacks. Ghost is great for this boss, okay? Uh, you want the hood synergy so that you're not taking any damage while you're phased, okay? So what you see me doing here, uh, I just basically ignore it. And then when I get that um, incinerate, you see it up there, right there? Uh, you see how much damage it's doing? Uh, you don't want to fire your special two off because of that all right so what i should have done from the beginning is just basically do one hit combos all right now this boss is a mashup spider gwen and she has the specials and and such of um scarlet witch and you'll notice that i have some debuffs like that um weakness that i get on me well that combined with the willpower mastery, which is what I have, and I'm healing up. You'll notice that Ghost has more health than she started the fight with. She is great for this fight, okay? Uh, so instead of trying to evade the specials, I, I just start blocking them, you know, because if I don't, I know what I'm gonna do. Now, if you're better at, you know, the reverse controls thing, you're fine. That power drain is annoying, but we're doing it and you can see that I started doing just like the one hit combos uh, instead of firing off, uh, you know, a lot of specials, but I'm taking some damage here and then I messed up. You'll notice that I went in and then did a, a second attack. Didn't mean to do that. And it was fatal. And I was like, oh, man. Uh, so I'm like, all right, uh, I'm, I'm ready for this thing to be over. I'm eager. And I'm like, all right, let's just go ahead. Let's get her down. All right, boom, boom. We just got to do one hit combos and this fight should be in the bag. And then that happened. And I said, all right, I see what's going on. 
the AI did something a little bit different. It, it, it did a double attack or whatever. You can rewind it and see. <laughs> rewind, I'm dating myself. You can go back in the video and watch. Um, but that's what caught me. And then just look at this. And I'm like, no, no, we are not going down like that. You know, I'm tired, but that woke me up. So uh, I'm just basically not wanting to deal with her evade. And so we are going to just basically parry, block the specials. Uh, Captain America Infinity War has very high block proficiency. Uh, so I can block them and then boom, we put her to bed. Finally, this quest is over. It took longer than any of the other quests. But I was happy it was done. And I hope that this video helps you guys out when you do your uh, initial clear. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. People come by, they watch the video, they'll read the comments. It may help them out. All right, so that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.